It's Dr. Shadi again. I'm so excited to share another story with you. Do you notice something different about me? You're right, I'm dressed up. It's almost Halloween where I am, and so I'm dressed up as Pooh Bear today so that I could have fun with my friends at school. Well, today is a really special day because I wanna share a book with you all about voting. Do you know what it means to vote? Yeah, vote means that you get to have a say in your country and in your and in making choices for your country. So today, I wanna share a book with you called Equality's Call. This is a special book that I just got from my Little Justice Leaders box and I'm really excited to share it with you because it talks all about how voting has changed over the years. Did you know that voting hasn't always been the same in our country? Yeah, when we first started our country, the United States of America, only some people were given the right to vote. But over the years, more and more people have worked really hard to make sure that all people in our country have the right to vote. So that's why it's really important for us to know about voting. Have you ever voted for anything before? Yeah, maybe you voted for like your favorite ice cream flavor. Sometimes in class we have ice cream parties and we ask our friends what their favorite flavor is. Some people might like vanilla, some people might like strawberry, some people might like chocolate, some people might like mint chocolate chip. Everyone has different opinions and we all get to vote for our favorite things. Well, when we vote, there's some choices and then we get to decide which choice we want. And when we decide which choice we want, then that the one that gets the most votes is the one that's the winner. So sometimes when people are voting, it makes it kind of tricky because one person might really, really want something certain to win. And if they see that it's not winning, they might try to get other people to join them in their vote instead. Like let's say someone really wanted strawberry, but they saw that strawberry wasn't winning that flavor and it wasn't getting a lot of votes they might do kind of a little bit sneaky things like try to take someone to the bathroom so that they can't vote or maybe they would tell them, oh, they've already voted. Or maybe they would tell them, oh, shh, don't, tell, don't say your choice so that more people don't vote for chocolate and instead there's more votes for strawberry. That's called voter suppression. So this book is also gonna teach us a little bit about voter suppression and about what happens when people have the right to vote, but for whatever reason, they don't get to vote for the thing that they wanna vote for. So that's what we're gonna read about today. Are you ready to read with me? Okay, here we go. This book is called Equality's Call, The Story of Voting Rights in America. And it's written by Deborah Deason, and it's illustrated by Magdalena Mora. says, our founders declared when our country began that consent of the governed was part of the plan. So that means they decided that people will get to decide by having voting rights. Through, through voting, elections, and representation, the voice of the people would strengthen our nation. Hmm, I see some men here who are making some decisions, but I see a family here who doesn't look like they're getting to make any of the decisions. It says, in fact, though for years, this great founding ideal was extended to some and for others, not real. Oh no, this family was enslaved during the time that America was founded. That means that they didn't have the same rights as other people, especially as these men here. So they didn't have the right to vote back then. What we heard in the distance, equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. Ooh, I really like that line. Let's say that again. A right isn't a right until it's granted to all. That means that if we, we're saying we want equal rights, we wanna make sure that all people in our country have those rights. The state set the rules about who got to vote and your gender, your race, and your, your wealth were of note. 
So look, this person could vote, but all of these different people could not vote. See? At that time, only white men who had a lot of money could vote. But women couldn't vote, and people who were not white couldn't vote, and people who were indigenous to our country couldn't vote either. Oh, yeah, I said that. All right. White men with property went to the polls, but the rest of the people were left off the rolls. See, look. Everyone in line looks the same. The dream of democracy wasn't yet true. There were changes to make. There was work still to do. But we heard growing clear equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. Well, look, see? All of these different people from different cultures Women, indigenous people, black people, they all should have the right to vote. The rules about wealth were the first thing to go. As more, as more were enfranchised, their voices could grow. Enfranchised means that they were getting the right to vote. And a small group of voices was raising the fact that enslavement was wrong, an unspeakable act. See, look, all of these people are fighting so that there would be no more enslavement in our country because that wasn't fair or okay for some people to not be treated as well as other people or not treated like people at all. Good people stood up for the truth that they knew. Abolition and suffrage were long overdue. Abolition means that they wanted to end slavery and suffrage meant that they were working for the right for women to vote. We heard ever louder equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. There was war in our nation and slavery ended. Amendments were added, the franchise extended. Wow, so after the Civil War, there was the Emancipation Proclamation, which ended slavery, but at that time, women still weren't allowed to vote, and a lot of people who used to be slaves still had a hard time voting, even though they were supposed to get the right to vote. See, here's the ballot box. It says, vote here. Now more men could vote, at least so the law said, yet denial through taxes and tests was widespread. Oh no, this is like what we were talking about with voter suppression. Even though they were allowed to vote, some people were trying to stop them by giving them hard tests to take or even sometimes looking at how much money they had and telling them they weren't allowed to vote because of how much money they had. And the voices of women were mostly omitted. That means they weren't included. It only some, in only some states was their voting permitted. So women could only vote in some places, not all over our country. But nothing could muffle equality's call. Look, it says, give us the vote now. Votes for women. What will you do for women's suffrage? A right isn't right till it's granted to all. Suffragists didn't give up on the fight. And the 19th Amendment gave women the right. But voters of color still met with oppression. Their voting was hindered by brutal suppression. Oh no, so even though women got the right to vote, people were still trying to keep different people from voting. Even though now they, they were supposed to be able to vote by law, it was still hard for people to vote. So we passed legislation to make voting fair it says 1924, the Indian Citizenship Act is passed. 1964, the Civil Rights Act is passed. 1965, Selma to Montgomery March and Voting Rights Act is passed. To extend and protect voters' rights everywhere. Ooh, in 1970, the first extension of Voting Rights Act. So a lot of people are working hard to make it laws. 
that people would all have the right to vote. Ooh, it says, now, what will you do for women's suffrage? We demand equality now. We heard it. We felt it, equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted for all. The journey's not over. The work hasn't ended. Democracy's dream must be constantly tended. That means we still have to work really hard to make sure that our voices are heard. It says, our vote, our voice. Ooh, and here someone wrote in Spanish, votar. But where we are now is a debt that we owe to the work of more people than we'll ever know. So all of the people that helped us get where we are today is the reason why it's so important for all of us who can vote to go out and vote. And each time we vote, we acknowledge that past. We honor our rights to ensure they will last. For to vote is to answer equality's call. And each time we vote, we vote with them all. Wow, look at all of these people who have helped us over the years make sure that everyone has the right to vote. I see voting is people power. I see our vote, our voice, votar, vote, equality now. We demand equality now. Our vote, our voice, tu voto es tu voz. Same thing in Spanish. We demand voting rights now. Voting is people power. We demand equality now. Wow, so many people have helped us make sure that we have the right to vote. Oh, and here's all of these diff this different information that tells us all about the different amendments and all of the different laws that have been passed to help us vote. And all of the different people, the voting rights activists who have helped us to make sure that we get to vote too. Wow, thank you to these wonderful people who have helped us make sure that all people have the right to vote. That was a really great story. I really hope that when you are old enough to vote, that you go out and vote right away and make sure that you tell your grown-ups to go out and vote too. Every time it's Halloween, every four years, or sometimes every two years, because there's lots of different elections that you could vote in, around Halloween time is the time to go and vote. So make sure that you tell your grown-ups to vote for them and vote for you too. And then when you're old enough, you can go out and vote too, because it's so important to answer equality's call. All right, friends, it was so good reading with you. And remember, vote like your rights depend on it. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.